My name is uh, Marcin Rata, uh, my handle is Lidl. I'm part of IPFS Stewards Group, uh, working for Protocol Labs for a while. So uh, the status update uh, for this quarter about uh, the state of uh, IPFS specifications. Um, hopefully it will be short. I will just briefly mention why. Um, why are we investing in specs? What are two major problems around specifications in a project like IPFS? What is the recent progress? around improving our spec posture and what the near future holds. Um, so this year is pretty important um, for this kind of a work. Um, we see the growing need for specifications. And it's not artificial need. Uh, we see multiple implementations of IPFS popping up. Uh, and we also are moving in a direction to create a space and create a mental model that uh, implementations like Go IPFS are not IPFS. IPFS is a protocol, just like you have multiple clients and servers of HTTP. Uh, those are implementations. Uh, the, the protocol and implementation is separate. And for the protocol, you need a specification. So one thing this year, we renamed Go IPFS to Kubo. We will be most likely doing similar thing in JSON. We have multiple implementations now in different languages for different use cases. And uh, every implementation is a special snowflake. It's built from different parts of our stack. Not every implementation, like the two implementations do not implement all the parts. They focus on things that are relevant to their use cases. So that's like one reason uh, why we are investing in specs to make it easy for people to implement specific blocks of IPFS stack uh, without having to reference legacy code, which often is not the most optimal thing. Um, another reason for specifications is that we started slowly but surely reaching out to various standards bodies and uh, policy organizations uh, to uh, register or uh, start a process of standardizations of those blocks of our stack. The beginnings are uh, small. We registered a tag uh, in the SIBO registry. We have some content types. We are talking with uh, at IANA. We are talking uh, with IETF about maybe we should have a RFC for multi-base or multi-hash. At least the discussion just started recently. So that's like a second reason why we are investing in specs. There's an like actual need for both implementers and also standards bodies. And every, if you want to implement even the smallest thing, like content type of a car, you need to have a specification at a stable URL that you can link to. So that being said, there are two problems around specs. One thing is it's not a static thing. You want to be able to evolve specifications. And probably the bigger problem is if you have gaps in the specs. Um, that's the bigger problem. Because it's like a black hole of uh, the resources and time you need to think to solve that problem. Uh, and that's like why we are focusing on the second one, filling the gaps. And this year, uh, we finally landed uh, specifications of HTTP gateways. Uh, most of implementations uh, now will be able to follow the spec. Don't look what Kubo does. Do your own thing in the most efficient way in your own use case, for your use cases, for your users. Uh, we have specs for path gateways. We have uh, specs for subdomain behaviors, DNS link gateways, also recently added trustless retrieval as blocks on cars. Everything is in the IPFS specs repo in the HTTP gateway uh, subdirectory. Similarly, when we are moving beyond immutable content, uh, IPNS is the only naming system which does not include blockchain and does not include uh, reliance on centralized things like DNS. Uh, and there are many users of IPNS and people have been asking and trying to uh, implement it how do I create IPNS record? How do I verify it? How do I make sure legacy clients are still able to upgrade firmware and uh, other th mission critical things over IPNS without, uh, without being uh, broken or cut off from the update channel? Uh, so we now also merged IPNS specifications 
uh, IPFS has uh, FS, the file system in the name. Um, so soon, uh, there will be specification of that, uh, probably the most important uh, part of IPFS, how do you represent files and directories? Uh, and not just small things, but how do you implement uh, sharding for things like Wikipedia mirrors? Uh, implementers should be able to follow specs and not have to dig into legacy Go and JS code to be able to load that and uh, deserialize uh, UnixFS uh, DAGs. So assuming that, that gap, that problem is being solved, and that's like a lo long, long-term uh, process of filling the gaps, at the same, uh, the same time we have this parallel track of work of improving existing specifications. We have, have gateway specs, we have IPNS and other things. Uh, IPLD, LP2P are in a way better shape than uh, IPFS specs repo was a few months ago. Uh, once we have specs, how do we improve that? Well, there's probably need some process. And when people think about process uh, for maintaining, changing specifications, they literally um, shut off and probably stop listening to presentations like this. So uh, I, I'll just briefly uh, uh, reiterate uh, what I presented uh, in Iceland a few, few weeks ago. Uh, we introduced a very light process. Uh, we are starting small and, and we'll be growing uh, depending on the needs and the way our community evolves. So uh, we introduced interplanetary improvement process. That's like a generic name for evolving process. You can read about it in IPFS specs repo. There's always a canonical version. I will not go too deep in the process because uh, the talk will not age well. But the idea was to uh, remove barriers and not add more. Uh, reduce overhead instead of adding cognitive overhead. How do I propose something? Uh, reuse existing tools that community have been using for years. Uh, be public, transparent, have clear life cycle with uh, which sets expectations. How long it takes, uh, what are the pre previous examples, um, how long um, it takes to, before I hear from uh, spec stewards and things like that. So this is how it works today. And this part may age a little bit, but giving uh, people uh, an idea of the complexity involved. Uh, in IPFS specs repo, there is a IPIP subdirectory, and that's kind of like an audit trail of historical uh, improvement proposals that were accepted. And we have a temp and on the screenshots itself, one we have template, and uh, the very first uh, improvement proposal proposes process for improvement proposals. Um, and uh, the gist uh, of that document is that the IPIP document documents no motivation. It explains the scope of the delta proposed against IPFS specifications, but it's not the specification itself. So it's not like RFC from IETF, which is essentially like inline content. It, de it defines the motivation, uh, why are we doing the thing, and points at the change in a spec repo, which is in the separate files. And the template of the IP, IP uh, document, um, it's a, like a rubric. And the, the idea behind this is to avoid back and forth when someone proposes improvement uh, or a new specification for something totally new. Avoid back and forth on the most the, the common things, common theme, like why are you proposing this? What's the value added to the end user? What's the user benefit? How is it compatible with wider ecosystem? Um, what are security cons uh, considerations? What is your threat model around that? Uh, an important part, we, in this process, we are including test fixtures. So if you propose something, uh, especially if it's, uh, we are talking about protocols, uh, you should uh, guide people into how to test the thing. And for things related to data, provide CIDs uh, with example DAGs so people can use edge cases that the person that created uh, a proposal um, thinks implementations should follow. Um, current process is very simple. Pull request against the spec repo, copy the template, fill the gaps, don't stress too much. We will work in uh, IPFS stewards, specs, uh, spec stewards will work with you to get it to the point when it can be uh, brought up to avoid their audience. Uh, we already did one iteration of the process. That's why I said it's 
may age not well, but we have, are having like bi-weekly, I believe, uh, IPFS implementer sync and discussing uh, IP, IPs uh, on that call, it's a part of agenda. So essentially we, uh, when we meet uh, once or twice a month, we flag potential uh, protocol improvement proposals for other implementers from uh, leads from different uh, IPFS implementations to review, like asynchronously read it, and the next time we meet, we may discuss this. Is it a good idea? Do, is it something we want to standardize? And then we are working together towards uh, merging the spec. It's a very long, uh, it's not something we want to rush. It's an ongoing process, but it's a basic structure so people know someone will look at their proposal. Um, and they will not uh, be stuck in a vacuum. Um, so up-to-date version is always in uh, IPFS spec repo. Um, it in current version includes uh, the life cycle of your proposal. So if you want to know, like, oh, what's the uh, supposed expectation to like, hear from uh, stewards or have someone to review it, uh, details are on the document. Uh, and I will br briefly show a few examples because since we announced IPAP process in Iceland, we already landed some things. So uh, Fission uh, submitted a proposal to support redirect files on uh, web gateways. So subdomain gateways and DNS link uh, gateways which deserialize data and act as a regular HTTP server. Um, you can use them essentially as a replacement for Nginx or other HTTP uh, server or behind. Um, and they enable a standard way of doing things like catching, uh, catching non-existing pages for single page applications, redirecting existing links, uh, presenting a nice uh, 404s. Uh, that landed, and it's a good example of uh, IPAP. It includes the test fixtures of those files uh, that you can include in your own test harness. So um, you are sure you are testing what the person that created specification intended as the minimum bar for implementation. And I feel it's very important that uh, by including the test fixtures in the specification itself around something like IPFS when we talk about content address data, we, we have more confidence in our implementations. Um, Another thing that landed, uh, tar gateway response format. Uh, the thing by landed, I mean there's at least one uh, working uh, implementation, uh, usually Kubo, but uh, other implementations are, uh, we, we welcome them to incl be included in IPAP process. Um, this one also has like a test fixtures and a security section with some considerations for implementers. So it's a good example of how we hope the process to follow, to always like include that rubric. Um, and there's like a bunch of uh, IPIPs in progress. The one I highlighted is uh, adding JSON and Cibor support to gateways, so we can go beyond files and directories. Um, so um, the question is like, where do we go from here? Uh, one, we'll be refining IPIP process depending on uh, feedback from people who submit IPAPs will be dropping unnecessary overhead, will be refining templates, and will be mm, adding process, making sure uh, the IPAPs are triaged and uh, processed through the pipeline uh, smoothly. Um, kind of like a bigger picture is to unify spec life cycles and standards across entire IPFS stack. And by that, me, I mean IPFS, but also things that we use internally, IPLD, lib P2P, multi-formats, each sub-project has own spec repo or website with different standards, different uh, degree of maturity. We want to unify the process, set the similar expectations for our uh, entire community. And part of that story is to have a single publication location. Not saying that we will be like merging all the repos, but we'll have a single place, one-stop shop, when you go and you can see specs for everything that's relevant if you want to implement IPFS. Uh, gateways, uh, parts of lip 2 p Kademlia DHT should be accessible from a single view, and you should be able to zoom in uh, to a spec of a specific subsystem from that one-stop shop and improve presentation beyond just Markdown on GitHub. Um, and make it easier for people to contribute. Like People who create specs, people who create uh, improvement proposals should be able to like 
uh, edit it locally, have a pr uh, previous on pull requests. Uh, if the test fixture CIDs are included in the spec itself, we should make sure it's uh, available on the public DHT that other people, other implementers are able to fetch. It. Um, and I'm wrapping up, but it's, it takes a village. So uh, as IPFS steward, uh, I want to invite people to participate in this process. Um, depending on uh, the area uh, of expertise, review comment output requests, namely ones that are IPIPs. Uh, the more questions uh, there are, the better end result is. Uh, do you want to improve something, but specifications are missing, so you are not able to propose IPIP uh, against existing spec? Just the, the bare minimum, open an issue, signal, oh, there's no spec for this. And we'll, be, as IPFS stewards, we'll prioritize filling those gaps. Um, if you have something, if you have a protocol which was solving your use case, and you feel it's like generic enough that it could benefit a wider IPFS ecosystem, maybe propose it as a new IPIP. Um, another thing, if you feel there is a problem, but you don't have a solution yet, and you don't want to add a noise to the IPIP process, we have uh, discussion forums, and there's a protocol uh, category there where you can incubate ideas and flesh out uh, the technical solutions to them. And then that solution could be submitted as IPIP. Um, and that's it. Thank you.